Let's have a look at this question. So the 2006 Australian Census recorded the age and gender of everyone living in Australia. If we choose a, an Australian resident at random, the 2006 Census gives us these probabilities. Now, let A be the event that the person chosen at random is female, and let B be the event that the person chosen at random is 19 years or younger. Part A of the question asks us to verify that the table gives a legitimate assignment of probabilities. So let's first look at all possible outcomes in the table. The table has two columns, male and female, the two choices that were in the census. In terms of age, we've got these rows, 0 to 9 years, 10 to 19 years, 20 to 29 years, 30 to 39 years, 40 to 59 years, and 60 years and over. And because no one can be below the age of 0, this table has a, um, all possible outcomes. Now what we need to check is that all of the probabilities are between 0 and 1. So a quick cursory glance through the table shows that there are no negative probabilities and there are no probabilities greater than 1. So each probability is between 0 and 1. The last thing we need to do is sum up all of the probabilities and check that that equals 1. So let's do that first. So the sum of all probabilities is. So the first probability, the probability of the person's between 0 and 9 years old and is male, is 0 0.066 plus. The probability that the person is between the ages of 10 and 19 and is male, that's 0 0.070 plus. And all the other probabilities below it. So 0 0.066 plus 0 0.071 plus 0 0.136 plus 0 0.084. So that's all the probabilities in the first column. We'll move on to the second. So we need to add on the probability that the person is between 0 and 9 years old and is female. So that's 0 0.063 plus the probability that the person is between the ages of 10 and 19 and is female, that's 0 0.067, and all the probabilities below it. So 0 0.066 plus 0 0.074 plus 0 0.140 plus 0 0.097. And if you sum all those numbers up, or put it in a calcula calculator like I did, you'll get 1. So, we've shown that all possible outcomes are in the table. We've looked at each individual probability and shown that it's between 0 and 1. And we've summed up all probabilities and shown that that equals 1. So let's, let's write that out. So... Let's just read that out one more time. The table includes all possible outcomes, which we've shown. The sum of all probabilities is 1. We've shown that here. And every probability is between 0 and 1. So we had a scan through and we've seen that. Hence, the table gives a legitimate assignment of probabilities. OK, so part B is asking, what is P of A? So remember, A is the event that the chosen person is female. So this question is asking us to compute the probability that the person is female. So let's go back to our table. This column, the female column, has every possible outcome in terms of age. So what we need to do is sum up these probabilities. So let's write it out. The probability of the event A occurring, that the person is female, is equal to the probability that the person is between the ages of 0 and 9 and is female. So that's 0 0.0. 63 plus the probability that the person is between the ages of 10 and 19 and is female that's 0 0.067 and so forth we'll add all the other probabilities in so 0 0.066 plus 0 0.074 plus 0 0.140 plus 0 0.097. If we add up all of those probabilities, we'll get the probability 
0 0.507. So I'll write it all out. So to read that out again, the probability that the chosen person is female for P, P of A is 0 0.507. Part C. Describe B complement and find the probability of B complement by the complement rule. So let's tackle the first part of the question. Describe B complement. So B is the event that the chosen person is 19 years or younger. That means B complement is the event that the chosen person is not 19 years or younger. A better way of saying that is the B complement is the event that the chosen person is 20 years or older. So let's write that out. So let's read that out one more time. Describe B complement. Well, B complement is the event that the chosen person is 20 years or older. Now let's tackle the second part of the question. Find the probability of B complement by the complement rule. So the probability of B complement using the complement rule is the sum of all probabilities, which is one, subtracting the probability of the event B occurring. In this case, it is the probability that the person is male and between the ages of zero and nine, plus the probability that the person is female and between the ages of zero and nine, plus the probability that the person is male and aged uh, 10 to 19, plus the probability that the person is female aged 10 to 19. So let's put that in. So we've got that it's one minus 0 0.066 plus 0 0.063 plus 0 0.070 plus 0.067 which is equal to 1 minus 0 0.266 which is equal to 0 0.734 so we've got that the probability of B complement by the complement rule is 0 0.734 part D express the person chosen is male and 19 years old or younger in terms of events A and B, and what is the probability of this event? So the event is the person chosen is male and 19 years old or younger. Let's go back to A and B. A is the event that the chosen person is female. What that means is A complement is the event that the chosen person is male. So the event that we need to describe is the person chosen is male and 19 years old or younger. A complement fits that. Now B is the event that the chosen person is 19 years old or younger, which also fits us. So our event will be A complement and B which is the event that the chosen person is male and is 19 years old or younger. So that's the first part of the question. The second part of the question is, what is the probability of this event? So we need to compute the probability of A complement and B. The easiest way to do this is to look back to our table. So we need the event where the person chosen is male and 19 years old or younger. So if we go to our table, we'll look in the male column and look for any boxes that's 19 years old or younger. So 0 to 9 years and 10 to 19 years fit that. So let's put those in. It's equal to the probability that the chosen person is between the ages of 0 and 9 and is male. So 0 0.066 plus the probability that the chosen person is between the ages of 10 and 19 and is male, which is 0 0.034. 
0 0.070. If we put those two together, we get 0 0.136. So what is the probability of the event that the person chosen is male and 19 years old or younger? Well, it's the probability of A complement and B, which is 0 0.136.